All right, guys, so the French election had some really, really interesting results, and I'll break it all down for you here. So this is in Politico. Marine Le Pen's far right set for, set for big win in first round of French election. Early projections show national rally on course for victory in the vote for a, for a new parliament as Emmanuel Macron's election gamble backfires. So Macron called for elections, and um, his party basically got absolutely obliterated absolutely just hammered. But interestingly enough, as you're about to see, it's not just the far right that was rising, it's also the far left. And when all is said and done, it's possible the far left eclipses the far right. Okay, so here we go. France on Sunday took a step closer to delivering what was once seen as an unthinkable nightmare, a far right government taking power in Paris for the first time. Marine Le Pen's national rally made big gains in the first round of a snap election that could upend political orthodoxy across Europe and beyond with implications for markets and global security that will be hard to predict. According to early estimates by pollsters, Ipsos, the far right national rally is on course to win 34% of Sunday's vote, while French President Emmanuel Macron's centrist alliance suffered staggering losses, coming third with 20.3% of the vote. The left-wing alliance made a strong showing with 28.1% of the vote. So the reason why I say ultimately the far left could end up winning here is because if uh, Macron's people drop out and endorse the far left coalition, then they have the numbers to defeat the far right. Okay, here we go. The French people have shown that they want to draw a line under seven years of Macron's disdainful rule, said Le Pen, speaking at a party event in the eastern French town, Henin Beaumont. We haven't, we haven't won yet. The second round will be crucial. We need an absolute majority so that Jordan Bardella, that's the leader of the far-right coalition, in eight days can be appointed prime minister by Emmanuel Macron. According to, to early projections based on exit polls, Le Pen's party is expected to get 230 to 280 seats in the 577-seat National Assembly, the left-wing alliance 125 to 165 seats, and Macron's coalition 70 to 100. Seat projections, however, are conjectural at this stage and dependent on political decisions taken in the coming days ahead of the second round of voting on July 7th. Uh, Macron himself is due to stay in power until the end of his mandate in 2027, regardless of the outcome of this assembly election. So here we go. Um, you can see Macron's people, 20%, and then you have, this is the left coalition is at 28 and the right wing is at 34, right? So if Macron's people drop out in certain places, the left can actually win. France is voting in a crucial snap election that looks set to have a resounding impact across the continent at a critical time. The EU's centrist governments already face challenges from the Ukraine war to the prospect of Trump regaining the White House. The French far right is skeptical of France's role in both NATO and the EU, and a victory for the national rally in Paris would have the potential to disrupt Western alliances when they're already under strain. If the early estimates are confirmed in later results, Le Pen's party, now led by the slick 28-year-old Jordan Bardella, stands a good chance of forming a cohabitation government under Macron's presidency. On Sunday, the French president called for Democratic and, Democratic and Republican forces to unite against Le Pen's party. Faced with the rise of the national rally, we need to foster a wide unity that is clearly Democratic and Republican ahead of the second round. So by the way, um, left-wing parties said in any areas where the Macronists beat them, they will drop out and back the Macronists to defeat the far right. But the Macronists have not yet said, we will drop out in the races where the left-wing parties are ahead of us so that we defeat the far right. The Macron, uh, some Macronists came out and gave a speech and basically tap dance around the issue as to whether or not the Macronists would do that. Okay. Um, the French president shocked the nation and France's international allies when he triggered the vote only a couple weeks before the Olympic Games after a humiliating defeat in June's European Parliament election. It was an audacious move designed to stop the far right advance in his tracks by forcing French voters to choose a new parliament. On the strength of the early projections so far, his gamble looks set to fail. In constituencies where three candidates have qualified to go through to the second round next Sunday. The third placed candidate will be under pressure to pull out. This is what I've been talking about, to defeat the national rally. It looks likely that Macron will face a tough choice in many areas over whether to withdraw his candidates in an effort to, to defeat Le Pen's party. That shouldn't be a difficult choice. That shouldn't be a difficult choice if you actually care about defeating Le Pen's party. But we all know the centrists ultimately are incredibly fucking greedy and, uh, are maybe even more motivated by anti-left sentiment than they are by anti-right-wing sentiment. And we're about to find out now, this is a big test. Uh, former Prime Minister uh, 
Edouard Philippe, a uh, Macron ally, called on people to vote against national rally in far left France un un unbowed, unbowed candidates. So anyway, this is what I actually just talked to you guys about. So there you have it, man. Again, we have the possibility here for a far left victory, ultimately, if Macron's if Macron is do the right thing. But if they don't, we're, we're probably looking at a far right victory. And that would be a disaster, needless to say. But the bottom line is this. The, cent the centrists in France have collapsed. And they've collapsed because what do centrists give us? They give us the status quo. They give us business as usual. They give us uh, coasting off the momentum of how fucked up the system already is. And people despise that. People can't stand that. People want anything but that. They either want a populist on the right or a populist on the left over the status quo. And the centrists have not figured that out. They are neoliberal status quo managers with, and they do minor tweaks around the edges while mostly keeping everything the same. And they berate you if you don't call them heroes, right? Well, now it's backfiring. So we'll see what happens moving forward, but I hope the Macronists do the right thing. And I hope eventually the left wing ends up winning here because having an actual quote unquote far left government could be transformative. That's what we need to see. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.